We're all familiar with corrosion. Uh, we've all met rusty nails and corroded copper. And we all are familiar that it's really metal that is reacting with its environment to form rocks. Maybe what's less familiar is the cost of this corrosion to us, both financially and in terms of human health. And financially, the numbers come out in the many, many billions per year. So there's a strong incentive to do something about corrosion. While we will probably never eliminate corrosion completely, our experimental work and more recently our detailed computing simulation work is delivering the understanding of how corrosion takes place in a way that is setting the scene for the design of new materials that are both corrosion resistant and cost effective. In fact, at Imperial College, our recent theoretical computational work using fundamental models involving electrons has allowed us to understand what happens at the complicated interface between the metal, the water and the mineral in a way that enables us to interpret what is observed. There's a clear connection between the two.